Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Hey, eh? Yes. Look at you. Now, I typically don't touch on church topics because it can be one that can trigger many. Don't get me wrong, I grew up heavy in the church, my parents were ministers, I was there Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday and Saturday child. So I grew up in the church, but this particular topic is one that is talked about a lot in the church community, so we're going to talk about it today. Okay, so many of you may or may not know, Kanye West has a weekly Christian gathering called Sunday Service. It combines his love of music, fashion, and Jesus Christ to the masses. Now, Kanye West recently took his Sunday service to Jamal Bryant's church in Atlanta called New Birth. Now, Jamal Bryant was once married to Giselle from the Housewives of Potomac, and they're supposedly getting back together if anyone cares about that. Well, two Sundays ago, T.I. and his wife, Tiny, and Titty Boy, all also known as Two Chains, and his wife came to the Sunday service child. Now, T.I. came to represent his boy Kanye, and Pastor Jamal Bryant just finished giving his sermon. T.I. came in so late that he missed that, but he was there for the introducing of the guest pastor, which was Ivy Hilliard. Now, child, T.I. said that the pastor singled he, his wife, and Two Chains out, considering they were walking in and they were all millionaires. Now, T.I. claims that Pastor Ivy Hilliard started a slideshow showing how his church started in a very small building but because he was a strong giver he was able to get the huge church that he has today now as T.I. and his wife two chains and his wife were walking in they were suggested to sit on the front row T.I.'s looking around like we came in late why are we sitting in the front child needless to say the pastor then made a request for 20 people to give a thousand dollars each child <clears throat> listen I, I believe when i go to places god asks me to believe for people to do certain things he asked me to do that i'm believing for 20 people to give a thousand dollars today i need a clap right there Now watch this, if you don't have a thousand dollars, God ain't asking you for it. All I need you to do is agree that those who do have it will give it. So can we try that again? I'm, I don't really need but 19 because I'm going to be one of them. Y'all look, 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 there's T.I. Tiny, 2 chains, and his wife, and T.I. is busting out laughing, y'all. I'm going to give you a chance in just a moment, but I, I want them to listen to me. I, I want to listen, listen, listen. So I'm believing for my 20, everybody say 20. I believe for 20 who will say yes, I'm willing to do that and do $1,000 today. Amen. And for many of you, it's not going to even bother what you already pledged to give. Amen. Because after hearing this word, understand God's not trying to take anything from you. Amen. See, I heard that, and that's when this infamous pic popped up, child, and that face that T.I. made was impure disgust. Child, when I saw that picture, I couldn't do nothing but laugh. T.I. was really pissed. So he does this podcast called Expeditiously, and he talks to fellow rapper Killer Mike about what happened that day. Child, T.I. went in such grave detail about what happened, how he felt, how he views church people. It's a lengthy interview. But it's funny as T.I. is and the way he links this all together. I really want you guys to take a listen to it and then I'll be back with some more. Everything you say, although I don't agree with everything, I know that you're brilliant and I know that you have our people's best interests at heart. Absolutely, absolutely. And if I'm wrong, I'll just simply say I'm wrong or digress. I mean, but you know what? You might not know you're wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or I might be right. Oh, you might be right. Absolutely. You might not know you're wrong or you might be right. Same thing both ways. We got to love and trust and admire each other enough to take that walk together. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what I think we all have to do. Now, another part of this weekend... Yeah. Another part of this weekend, man, you know what I'm saying, that we uh, experienced together. I didn't necessarily see you, but I know you were there. <laughs> it was Sunday service. Yeah, I saw you. I was over there with Damani. I was Sunday with my nephew. Sunday service. <laughs> I went to see Kanye. What did you go for? I went for Smiley, my little sis. My, my, she's not my sister by blood, but by spirit. I okay. went because... Um, 
I was raised in church. I went uh -huh. to Bethlehem Hill and Temple on yeah. Hollywood and Fort Johnson Road. Okay. I went to Bishop Jean's Church yep. on Bankhead and Mount Olive on Martin Luther King. So mm. I've had enough church for the rest of my life. I'm cool, right? Right. But what made you go at that? Smiley. Smiley. Went, Smiley. Went. What did you do to make him go to church? She's smiling. Smiley over there smiling. Like a mother. <laughs> smiley over there just a smiling. She yeah. can't say nothing. She's smiling so hard. She can't even talk. She, so, yes. Well, what was it that got you at? She goes but you, to go, to, but you go to that church. You don't go to that church. What brought you to that she church? She goes to Coco Brothers Church. Coco Brothers Remember Church. Remember Coco Brothers? I got you. Yeah, Coco Brothers. Coco Brothers got separated from his old lady in Mace Church that time. Yeah, but they together. It's bad. I think they, I think they got it worked out. I just know Coco Brothers and his old lady. Don't throw no preacher under the bus. Now, nigga, goddamn. Don't make sure we go Who? to hell what together. What preacher? He Coco Brothers preaching that he got a church. I'm not, not saying. I'm not speaking ill of Coco yeah, Brothers. I'm just saying because, nigga, I, I just don't want to be in the gates of heaven and they be like, Mike and Tilt, y'all didn't get in. Why? Because, nigga, we talking against a preacher. Man, them <laughs> motherfuckers don't represent heaven. That's what. That's it's the damn gonna point. It's going to be me and Tilt just outside the Man, gate. Man, like, them damn. motherfuckers, I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to say, oh, God, what you want me to follow? I'm going to be like, I got a section in hell. Do what you expect me to follow? <laughs> I'm you like, I got saying? a section of hell. They got bottles. <laughs> hey, but, man. So Smiley, Smiley's a huge fan of of Jesus and Kanye West. Okay. And and, and black and, Jesus, I hope. Yeah, black Jesus. Okay. And and I knew and I just love her to death and I knew that it would mean the world to her. And right. you know, till I've seen you do it, man. You just it's it's easy to do good things for, for good people. Absolutely. It's, so I I I I said, if she up at nine, I'll go on and go, right? So uh -huh. Pastor Jamal had hit me. Um had said it was cool to come. Yeah. Um, gave me a point, man. So we was all there for Kanye, basically. No, no, no. I was there for Smiley. You were there for Smiley. Yeah, yeah. Smiley I, was there for Kanye. And Jesus. And Jesus. Yeah. She, I am a she fan. Was there for Jesus and I'm Jesus. I'm also a fan of Jesus and Kanye. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. However, I could talk to Jesus at my house. I do often. <laughs> you understand that? Thank you, Lord. So, only motherfucker I couldn't see at my house. That was gonna be there that yeah. day was yeah. Kanye, so that's why I came. Well, I walked. I in. came to see Kanye Sunday service. I walked into a preacher asking twenty people to stand up. Man, listen, hey, look, hey, look that's give what a, I want to talk about. Give a thousand dollars a hey, piece. Listen, look, man, wait a minute, now, look, don't it was you at, do that. It was at that moment do I was that. glad I got sent to the civil section. Look, Cause look don't do that. You and Tit was well, Titty Boys two chains for people. Who, I mean two chains Titty Boy. People don't know. Yeah, when you and Tit sure. was standing, I was like, man, oh that. That's the rich nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me give you, first of all, listen, uh, what we, I, I promised the people that we would talk about this on Expeditiously when I po when this picture went viral of me. And that face. <laughs> making this face <laughs> in Sunday service at church. And that face was like 20 bands. Like, no. Like, it, like, if you haven't seen the picture. Oh, the picture's amazing. The picture of me. My wife in service, sitting in the front row, in the front row of service. It's hilarious. <laughs> My face, I cannot explain. Like everybody, like tip. Everybody, like tip. What the hell are you making this damn face in church for? Cause you had this just is... got asked. No, I ain't get asked none. What happened yeah, was the church, there they? was a con being ran. Oh, you seen it coming. There's a con that. being ran. If there's a con, it's supposed to flow smooth. I ain't supposed to see it coming. Oh, now, now, first of all, let me go on record. I will say this: the pastor who is the normal preacher, Jamal, did not pass for new birth. That day, Jamal was Bryant. Jamal. Jamal had preached the full sermon. He's a great preacher too. Yeah, he preached the full sermon. Uh, and mind you, the night before. I got word from Kanye and his camp arrive at 930. Church will, service will be over by 1115. I get there on tip time, of course, yeah. at 10, yeah. 1015. We pop up by what, 11? Yeah. So y'all got there a little later than us. Y'all got there when the money got there. So Yeah, we got there when the money was got there, but when they had stopped asking for the money. Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So look, the very look, this 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 I think this will be one of the most remembered days <laughs> of church service there's ever been. So um I get there, I have a conversation with Kanye, me, uh 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 Tit, 
Yay, my old lady, tit old lady. Um, we were all back there, man, like fellowshipping while Jamal was still preaching Preach. his sermon. Yeah. This is his sermon. Um, I didn't get to hear Jamal's sermon. I don't know what he preached on that day. I don't know what he spoke about. I have no idea. Uh, what I do know is they'd raised an offering. They'd already tossed around the plate, tossed around the buckets. Yeah. The buckets. The buckets. Not the plates. The buckets. The white paint buckets. Not the pretty, not the pretty no, silver plate. Not the pretty plate silver plate. With the velvet the in the bottom. The big, bottle. deep, white paint hey. Buckets. And they won't see that thing fill up. Sherwin Williams, what you stir paint with, <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a wooden stick with. Yeah. When you painting not the paint a big paint, room, the not a small bucket. room with a paint brush, <laughs> the paint, the paint roller. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. All right. That had already been done before I even got seated. Yeah. Okay. And before you arrived as well. So I speak to Kanye. One thing that made me feel very good about coming out when I first got there, I felt very good, man. I felt uplifted because I saw Kanye and Kanye was in great spirits. He was, he seemed in a a, a much better shape mentally, emotionally, spiritually than he was the last time I saw him. Yeah. I feel that. And, and and then he was the last few times I'd experienced him even in, you know, in the media. Yeah, I understand. He seemed more clear. He seemed more uh, directed with his intentions. And he knew what he was doing, why he was doing it, and who, and, and, and the purpose of, He's you regained know, his focus. Yes. Yeah. And I felt good about that because I'm like, man... Whether I agree with my brother or not, it's great to see him doing well. Yeah. It's great to see him, you know, in great spirits. Absolutely. And, and, and with a positive mindset. Absolutely. So, from that, I'm feeling good now. Yeah. They come great. and walk me, my old lady, Tit, his old lady, walk us down to the front row. Yeah. At that point, I got suspicious. I was like, well, wait a minute. Why do they want us on the front row? The old Van the Holyfield seats. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Why do they want us on the front row? But I didn't say anything. Yeah. I sat there quietly. Crossed my, I crossed my hands. Cross your ankles and hands. Yeah, my ankles and my hands. <laughs> and I sat there patiently. <laughs> Just like this. This was. <laughs> Let's see what's happening there. Patiently. So, Jamal was still preaching at the time. Yeah. Jamal never asked for money not one time. I, I didn't see it. Yeah. He did, however, say that there was going to be a very special service today. Yeah. And when I heard him say that, I think he's talking about Kanye. I'm like, hey, yeah, good. Kanye's coming out. You know what I'm saying? It said, it said church will be over at 11.15. Here it is. It's about 10 minutes to 11. So it's now it's time to bring Kanye out because I got a text last night saying service will be over. At 11.15. And then who came out, the old preacher came out. Yeah, so what they did was... <laughs> brought the Beijing King out. Man, he said, all the way from Houston. And I said, damn, Kanye came from Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he was down with that H-style. What the like, hell he doing coming from Houston? I'm flying in, past the such and such and such. Who's a, I'm like, huh? And I didn't know, I thought he was with Kanye. I'm like, all right, cool. Pastor comes up and he says that his sermon is going to be about sacrifice. So immediately I say sacrifice. Hmm, that's not bad. Okay. See, me being I'm a church listening. kid, at this point, I'm like, I'm seeing, I think we're in there, I'm just like looking and smiling like, thank God we're in the center section. Because, <laughs> boy, if we were in the winter section, they'd be tapping a nigga for some dough. <laughs> hey, look, we're going to get to all that. So he says about sacrifice. Then he gets to showing pictures. He had a slideshow, PowerPoint presentation, it looked like. Ooh. It looked like a, por- a person who's raising funds for an investment that walks into a corporate office in a conference room and goes... Here, here, to this picture. Yep. Boom. This is my church before. And it shows a little bit, little hole in the wall, little church. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look like anything. Yeah. Little back alley, little goddamn yep. Columbus, Georgia, yeah. Augusta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama ass church. Yeah. And he showed the front of the church. He said, if you could see, the church isn't even wide enough to park two cars in front of it. And he was right. It had like a maybe a, a Oldsmobile 98. And a motherfucking Fleetwood. And the motherfuckers was exceeding the width of the church. I saw that. <laughs> and then he said, now sacrifice. God 
put us in position to make sacrifices and we are rewarded. Our sacrifices are rewarded with abundance, with blessings and abundance. And he, he goes into, uh, I don't like, I didn't like giving. I didn't like giving, but I was compelled to give. Then he tells a story about a time where he was a preacher and then there was the church and the church's budget was it, it it was in a five figure deficit and he said I had the money I didn't have it for that but I had the money and immediately something told me you got to fill that deficit for that budget and I said to myself well I don't want to but then and he said this and this is what he said he said and the thing is when the spirit talk to you and tell you yeah, I heard that to make point. sacrifices, yeah. you got to do it fast before you talk yourself out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he ran. Yeah. I say, huh? So you mean to tell me if I am compelled to do something that I tell myself later with my rational thinking mind, I can't afford to do. I shouldn't listen to my rational thinking mind. I should just go ahead and dive in, face forward in the fr- face first in the frozen lake. Yeah. So then he says, I want 20 people right now to stand up and give a thousand dollars. 20 people. Let me see. Who do I have? First he Who- said something about 10,000. Yeah, he said that his deficit was 10000 Yeah, yeah. He said what he gave was 10000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said, but here, you guys can do better yeah, than that. Uh, now we want everybody to sit up 20 people. <laughs> but even look. before he said that, it were people walking up to the stage like strippers, like they walk up, uh, yeah. like we do in, Ma- not, not Madison City, like we do in Cheetah, yeah. when you walk up and you have people <laughs> yeah. money, and then they open up the garter belt. But instead, he didn't right. open up his garter belt. He said, oh, no, just lay it down on the front. And so they laid down, down twenty. And um, a couple hundred, whatever it was, I was close enough to the state so I could see. And all the while this time is going on, I'm looking at Tit Two Chains to y'all. <laughs> I'm looking at my old lady. I say, Do you see this shit? <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. Tit say to me, Man, you here, leave me alone, man. We in church, leave me alone. Don't yeah, do he this. still had on the shades. He said, he's like, he said, Man, leave me alone, Tip. You bad. You is bad news. Leave me alone, man. I'm in church. You're not going to do this to me. I say, man, do you see this shit going on right now? <laughs> and I tell my old lady, you see why I say, you see? Do you see why I don't come? Do you see? You see this? If you re- look at my Twitter, there's a Twitter Dang. that says, I'm in church. I can't believe this shit. Hey, I did. Listen. I, I did that around the same time man. they started asking for that money. Imagine. And we ain't even going to talk about it. Uh, Lil Yachty and Coach K were behind me. I turned around. I found myself. Uh, and I, this is how I got shout some out of the to Yachty, man. Yeah, shout no, out to Yachty, young man, man. man. And, yep. and mind you, mind you, I was in Magic City all night. Me, Puff, Tamika. I could tell. We uh, in Magic City all night. Not just Magic City till it closed. We was in Magic City like when it, until about six in the morning. See, technically, I paid my tithes at that point. You dig what, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what but, I'm saying. When I go, tithing ain't just to the church. No, exactly. Tithing is to the community. Yeah, I'm helping. Tithing with, is giving to people I'm, who need exactly. help. Exactly. Tithing is giving to people who need help. Shana not and I to have, have, have have fell off in a lit, not Elizabeth's arm. Um, Ebenezer. Right. We have fell off in Ebenezer. Which stuff. I really respect. I really, really respect Warnock. I do I too. respect Warnock that and Ebenezer. That still don't mean we want high as fuck in the top row. That don't matter. We should be. Yeah, it means you have every right to be. I'm sorry, Because he's trying to church. save the wicked, not the righteous. Yeah, so many times we've been high fresh off you know the strip. You know what I'm saying? That one strip club still stay open to 4, 5 in the morning. Right. And but we this time, been... because we had, you know, yeah. it, like, like it was... Members only. Yeah, they weren't absolutely. selling any alcohol. Nah. They weren't charging any Just admission. In it was a mini. It was a a, a a a a members only group who were fellowshipping. Yeah. After hours. Absolutely. Okay. So I cut my fellowshipping short at Magic City to go to church <laughs> to go and get me forty five minutes of sleep. Yeah. To get up and drive out here to be accosted. And uh, basically exploited. it. Finesse out some money. And when I sat down, as soon as I sat down, remind you, I tell you, they already raised the offering. Jamal already raised the offering. Yeah. When we sat down, there was a whole new agenda. A whole new agenda, fool. 
It was, when me and Tit is up oh, there, two multimillionaires, though, actually three counting Tamika, three multimillionaires on yeah, the front row. Yeah, it's okay. like they rung the red bell at the Players you know, Club. You know, hey, you know what? Bello you told dig me. what I'm saying? Bello said, Bello said, oh. Oh yeah, this a money grab. This like when you got Man. tip and puffing everybody in the compound. You it did. go from being a hundred dollars to four hundred dollars. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so now he said, I need twenty people to give a thousand dollars. Where you at? Twenty people. Count them out. He counted from one, two, three, four. He counted everybody. And I turn around and I see people I know. There's Brian Barber, video, a famous video director, yeah. and also director <laughs> Idlewild. And, yeah. and then I see uh, Ernestine and Jay Moore. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Hey, I turn around and I say, sit y'all dumb ass down. What the hell is y'all doing? Don't y'all see what the hell is going on here? Sit y'all ass down, man. What the fuck? Okay. So, and, and they looking at me, and Brian Barber looking at me like, hey, what do you mean? And then I see <laughs> Tick, Tick go in his pocket. He pull out a bankroll. I'm talking about he had a big old bankroll. Must have been about ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. He pull out $500, and then he, he finna give it. I say, hey, man, Tick. Man, give me a hundred out there, five hundred. <laughs> give me get a hundred. You mad? Well, give me a hundred. You finna get him five hundred. Why can't you give me a hundred? Shit, bro. Hey, you gave away money. Give me, give me some. <laughs> and, all right. So we had a good laugh about that. We had a good laugh about that. And then while he's still counting out the twenty people to give him a thousand dollars, this motherfucker had the nerve to say, "Come on, y'all, get your blessings heard." I mean, Nick, are you telling me? I have to give you a thousand dollars for the good Lord Almighty to heal my blessings. To heal my blessings. Yeah. Are you a goddamn? I said, uh, and, and that's when I, I think that's when you. That's probably when I made the face. You made the it face. Probably, I'm probably making the face all it just like, uh, I unconsciously. I'm, I'm. It's all over my. I'm talking about. I can't. Help I was on myself. the side with the money, laughing like a motherfucker. I can't kidding. help myself. I was over this there. is very important. Me my and smile was over there looking at my you wife. Don't tea. believe I'm still in here doing this damn podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah let's get it. Yeah, just not be face. I'm on. FaceTime. I'm with that bitch right now. I'm y'all. in FaceTime. I'm with that bitch right now, y'all. <laughs> Hey, love. There's no way. There's no we way. Shining in this there's motherfucker no way I could possibly be yeah. in your studio. Wife, wife club. Doing this shit right now. So it's a, this is a wonderful example. Uh, anybody out this time of night. I am also on you probation that for bitch. life. You are not doing no yeah, goddamn yeah. podcast. You are not you with no motherfucking that killer. Man. That b- so I'm guessing Pastor Jamal Bryant got wind of what was going on on the podcast and he decided to repost a picture of the podcast and say the following to my comrades Troubleman 31 and Killer Mike let me first say I appreciate your unwavering commitment to the empowerment of this generation we have echoed the same sentiments on many issues down through the years and was energized by the partnership I was awakened to your clip this morning and felt compelled to lend context to have both of you in church was meaningful for many reasons this is the largest demographic of blacks who don't buy into organized religion in our history and in large measure because of reasons you have illuminated to not give redress would be an assault to the body of christ when i believe i am an ambassador as the two of you are for your field i don't want sunday to be used as further ammunition as to why people don't go to church without them knowing at this same church we gave five thousand pairs of new back to school shoes to kids of it Atlanta, or that we spearheaded nine million campaign to support Bennett College, or that we bailed out non-violent offenders, or that we partnered with Delta to send four cargo to Bahamas for hurricane release, that we partnered with Hampton Youth to place 95 displaced students, or that we fed the furloughed workers for two weeks while the government was shut down, or that we went into housing projects to feed the kids of DeKalb County during spring break. For none of those projects were you solicited for a donation. The reality is when I came to New Birth nine months ago, I was met with a $30 million debt that must be paid so that we can be free to deal with community development like affordable housing, entrepreneur workspace, and medical clinics. I've been teaching on self-help, which are values you both promote. Bishop Hilliard was invited months ago with no knowledge. Kanye West was coming or either of you. So there was no money grab intention, but part of an internal strategy to mobilize our church community to move towards economic independence. As black men, I hope we can come together expeditiously to find common ground to build. To invite both of you to come and give church another chance. I promise you I'm more interested in your life than your life savings. Hashtag run the jewels. Hashtag big things popping.
which Run The Jewels is a Killer Mike song and Big Things Poppin' of course is a T.I. song. T.I. responded saying nothing but love and respect for you Jamal Bryant. I'm still shoulder to shoulder in struggle with you. Pardon my progress. You know God still has me under construction. Our views may differ on some matters but we are both aligned and move in unison on behalf of our people. So yes of course we can come together. I never considered us separated or torn apart. I'm always willing to sit in fellowship with you or anybody else in Institutes change and make significant steps towards progress for our people. Don't know how soon I'll be in your neck of the woods again, though. So maybe another venue would. <laughs> so maybe another venue would better enable us to meet expeditiously. Child T.I. is not about to step foot back into that church again. I'm here when you need me, just as I always have been. Take it light and continue to pray for me. Lord knows I need it. And Jamal Bryant said, T.I., let's build together, bro. The community needs us. Okay, so let me quickly give my thoughts on this. Now, a lot of people think that churches are just supposed to stay afloat, but unfortunately, just like clubs got to stay open and they charge you an entry fee and you get charged for drinks and that's how they pay their bills, the church requires their bills to be paid as well. That's where the tithes and offerings come in. However, a lot of pastors take out their commission and a lot of times their commission is a little bit too much. There, I said it. Now, I don't agree with the pledging and people telling you how much to give if God places it on on your heart to give an amount that's how much you're supposed to give so i don't agree with that now people don't look at church as the funnest place on earth just like ti said they told me a time to be there and they told me a time that it was expected to be over and that's the time he was expecting it to be over however people look for reasons not to go many times and instances like this are the very reasons that people don't like to go to church there are some good pastors out there but again a lot of people don't look at church as the funnest place so once they've been burnt once they that's their excuse to say, you know what? I'm not going anymore. I know I've used it before in my situations. I'm not going to say too much because my daddy watches my channel and he told me not to talk about the church folks chat. So I'm going to keep a lot of my opinions to myself. <laughs> what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about this entire situation regarding T.I. and the pastors and the money and the collection plate and them wanting to take the thousand dollars from the 20 people? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And you know how we do. We're going to hit up these comments down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Now, before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.